Good evening. My name is Marshall Arnwine. I work for the ACLU of Northern California in a Sacramento office. I'm a legal policy advocate. We're a legal nonprofit that ensures that constitutional rights are protected for free speech and due process. And that is why I'm here today. It is vital that community members and commission members are able to criticize the decisions and opinions of elected officials. The US and California Constitution protects such pointed dialogue, even if the recipients of the criticism does not like it. <laughs> Prohibiting public comments that a council member might construe as a personal attack constitutes the type of criticism that courts have found to violate the First Amendment. The city council cannot prohibit the expression of an idea simply because it finds the idea or comment offensive or disagreeable. The ACLU stands fiercely for the First Amendment values. From a procedural aspect, it is also important to note that this council was bound by removal procedures set forth under Sacramento City's charter at Article 15, Section 232 that applies to commissioners. Even if it were appropriate to consider removing Mr. Bliss for his personal opinion and public comments, which to be clear, it is not appropriate. The council will first have to provide him with a copy of the charges purporting to justify his removal from the commission. This copy would need to be provided to him at least 10 days prior to a hearing on these charges. And he will also need to have an opportunity to have a hearing in person. This council has failed so far to provide these removal procedures. For these reasons, we strongly caution against moving forward with any attempt to remove Mr. Bliss from this commission. Such action will be ill-advised and potentially unlawful. Thank you.